right here. Okay, let me do the first. Okay. The ancient Chinese believed the whole universe. Okay, form the ground work of the universe. If there's no chi, there's no activity. No transformation, no life. Chi is the ground work of everything. Basic material of the universe. The whole universe consists of chi. The, the activity of chi, the movement of chi, the formation of chi, the, the, the metabolism or transformation of chi are also going on in the universe. From the Chinese herbal medicine or traditional medical standpoint, And consider the human being, the whole body, actually consists of the most important part is the chi. The chi is a, a substance, not just the air so simple. And our vitality, our activity, our uh, uh, physiology and so forth, have to be achieved for moving, for finding effect. Each is an effect to induce uh, a get higher enhancing. The chi can go up, go down, go sideways, circulate in all the different directions. In one of the famous Chinese book, ever book, uh, traditional medical book, say human beings lie pretty and chi. When you have chi, you have life. Die. Yes, important. Another book says, when you achieve accumulate form, materialize, stay together, and strengthen, then the human being will grow, develop, and But it is first completed for a time. Therefore, Qigong is the method, technique, of Now, the manifestation of the Qi, how many kind of Qi are there? Number one, called the true, the real Qi. Chinese called Yuan Qi, real Qi, original Qi, Zheng Qi. Formal, appropriate, regular, whatever you translate. And the Jing Qi, Jing Qi means spirit. It's because we're very energetic. A spirit, Jing Qi. And the ancient Chinese medicine, medical people believed when we were born, before we were born, conceived as a baby. Father, mother, fertilization that passed on. That's the origin, the occasion, the formation of the human being. Then, after this baby grew up, we bring the milk, food, and this energy also comes from the nutrient, food, and plus.
a certain point with the chi going out in a combative sense, how do you reduce it down to the marrow of the bone? Can you stand up? I can't hear. Sure. Maybe the same thing like people can hear my voice. In a combative sense, once you have the chi going out, how do you reduce it? How do you get the chi to squeeze down into the marrow of the bone? Is it more of a visualization type? Maybe this chi going out to your body, yes. out of your body. Right, if you're striking you somebody. Back. Well, let's say you're striking somebody. Yeah. How can you get it to reduce down to the marrow of the bone? Well, that is depend upon uh, different style, different school, and the different method. You are talking about technical part. You are talking about technical part. We will yeah, talk about later part. on. But in the Tama head, we will still want to definition and concept of cheese. I saw something there. Yeah. 
See, if you're in winter time, you feel chilly, you feel weak, you're so cold, then you better develop your chi. Or you go to bed, your feet cold feet, then you don't have enough chi. And now there's a defense effect against outside attacking agents, like bacteria, virus, cold attack, or too hot, also can hurt you. But when you have chi, you can regulate your body, like a, like a buffer action. Another is controlling and regulating and strengthening, sustaining, holding on your body. For example, your breath holding on, holding on the urine, and suddenly you do not find a place to go to the toilet. How you know you have to hold on? Now that function you call hold on. It's an effect in control and regulating the strain. So also the stronger chi. See, because some student come to talk to me, he's a doctor. I go to the bathroom all the time, you and me. I said, you have weak chi. We call this kidney chi, which is kidney in Chinese purple medicine, related to your, uh, that kind of a, a control. Okay, I want to announce the Qigong exercise and, and demonstration is outside now. You want to see the uh, Qigong demonstration. And the self-defense lesson for children also start in 15 minutes. Then, of course, the metabolism. Have to be ate, helped by the Qi. Body adaptation. Also, you have to eat cheap. So, the human being, you're developing, your formation, your grow, the chi is very important. You have to develop intensive maintaining. And also, you have the concept that chi is not just to look like an air, that's so simple. Actually, you have substance, such like infrared, electromagnetism. Feel. and also heat energy develop. Now, what about the psychic effect of human using harm to heal people? Now that beside your chi is strong, but you still have to, your, your, your birth, your born nature, what we call the more psychic in crime. That part that your natural born that time can have to be a higher psychic or healing, psychic healing, that type of energy. So up to here, we finish another paragraph. Do you have any question or, or concept you want to ask? Yes. Um, you mentioned the psychic. Are you doing? Are you doing anything with the chi technique with mental illness? The chi is only a form of energy, but if you have psychic power, born nature, now that part, that part of psychic power and chi would be enhanced. But if you do not born with the psychic power, then the chi part can do something else, like what we talked before. I meant, what I meant was, suppose somebody came to you who was mentally ill or schizophrenia mm -hmm. or you know, manic depression. Well, that part, according to Chinese Qigong, you don't have to be psychic power. You don't have to. But could you help them with the Qi tone? Yeah. But not necessary to get the, not necessary to get the psychic power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that what you asked? Well, what I meant was if somebody came to, to a... I know that you said some uh, psychic patient. Yeah. Right, a person with mental illness. Yeah. Would you be able to help them? By chi, yes. By chi. But not have to be psychic yeah, power. I understand. All right. Any other question?
come to this part, if you don't have any questions, then we go about let Mr. Yan talk about the recent development of the chi in mainland China. The Qigong uh, has uh, several thousand years history in China. Uh, that originally com comes from the Taoist, Taoism and the Buddhism. But uh, in the history, uh, some people they practice Qigong in the temple of Taoism and the temple of Buddhism. And some people they practice martial arts they practice some Qigong for their martial arts. Uh, the qi, we, we have several kinds of Qigong, Dr. Wu mentioned it. Uh, the Wushu Qigong, uh, that means Kung Fu Qigong for your martial arts, and uh, some Qigong for your health, uh, a lot of kinds of them. But uh, I think just the recent year, the Qigong got so popular in China, we call it Qigong Hot. If uh, several million people, even 10 million, 20 million people, they practice something we call it hot. What Mr. Yan said, the fat. See, like hula hoop one day, every thousand, thousand people, yeah. the fat. Uh, we call it hot. In China, we call it hot. Yeah. Now, everybody, they, they, are, they are talking about the chicken hot in China. Uh, because, uh, let, let's go back to the 1950s. In 1950s, uh, we set up some hospital for the people, for the chronic, not for some emergent illness, just for, the, for some chronic. They found that use the Qigong to heal the chronic uh, very effective. For example, some people, uh, because I just know some limited English words, so I just give you the... What he means a chronic? Some people in the, during the night cannot uh, sleep. That's some chronic. No, some very good uh, chemical way to, to, to heal this kind of. You just eat some pill, that's not a bad way. You need to eat more and more. First, you, you, one pill, you can go to sleep. Gradually, two pills, then three pills, that's a bad way. They, they found uh, practice some Qigong can heal this kind of. That's some nervous system illness, that's it. and some mental illness. You you use the qigong method, very effective, and uh, some digestive digestive system some problems. Your heart, the, the your circulation system, your blood system, your heart, something we call chronic, last a long time, not so serious, but last a long time. No, some effective way to cure it, to heal it by the common medical. Way. They found Qigong is very effective. So in 1950s, in some hospitals, they use this way to, to heal the carnage. Gradually, more and more people know this and began to practice, and we published some books mm -hmm. about this. But in 1960s, the Cultural Revolution then everything stopped. Uh, at that time, the red guards, the government, they think that's something <coughs> very bad. That's something super, super superstition. Uh, superstition. They don't like that. So, during the 1960s, stop. Some people, they still practice it, but uh, how to secret it. Just at home, don't let other people know. If you keep students just uh, very close to the friend or their, their relations, their relatives. After Cultural Revolution, I think that's the uh, <coughs> end of 1970s, uh, one guy, he issued a, a Qigong called uh, Korean Flying Qigong. Just a moment ago, Sandy Wu. Right here, there's a crane yeah. frying qigong, like a crane. See, crane. This is called a crane frying qigong. Just a moment ago, Sandy Wu uh, practiced it uh, over there. 
that's uh, this kind of qigong. This can this qigong began the qigong heart in China at the end of 1970s. Thousands of people practice because this this qigong the very fast the very fast can get your effect can get your effect. Some qigong is slow. You need to practice a long time. But this Qigong very fast. For example, in our university, I work in the Shandong Polytechnic University. Some teachers, they use their brain too hard, so in the evening they cannot go to sleep. Lay on the bed, cannot sleep. After practice this kind of Qigong, just practice one month, they can sleep very well, no any problem. Because it's very fast, you can get the results, the effects. So a lot of people practice it. Uh, one of the characteristics of this qigong is during, after you practice this qigong, there are five movements. After movements, you stand there. Suddenly, you begin to move, not by your, not controlled by your brain, just naturally to move. And uh, usually, if you have some problem with your arm, your arm will move. If you have some problem at your head, your head will, will move. Wrist has, has problems, your wrist will move. Very strange, it looks very strange, even funny movement. <laughs> but after the movement, you feel very comfortable, very relaxed, very comfortable. And gradually, after maybe one month or two months, you feel much better your problem much better so people like it very much uh, just uh, two months ago I read a newspaper from the art, uh, from I read an article, article from newspaper it said now in China about 10 million people practice this kind of thing. 10 million that's a very big thing. 10 million 10 million yeah 10 million people they, they are practicing in the morning, in the every park, public park, thousands of people there. Some people they practice Tai Chi, some people they practice Qigong. And there are thousands of kinds of Qigong. But this Qigong is the most popular one. Because it's easy to learn and uh, it gets effect very, very fast. Uh, after this Qigong, the Qigong heart began. Then we found more and more people. They can practice very well. They can get very effective. <coughs> but gradually, some people found they can use the qigong not to heal themselves, but can heal some other people. They can issue the qi to you. If you your head has some problem, they put their palm here. Just issue the qi to your head. But one day, one time or two times, after some weeks or one month, you, your problem has gone. No, any problem. Don't need you practice. They heal you, they, they treat you. And gradually, some people, they can, they, they are very powerful, they are cheap. They can uh, resolve your problem just in several minutes. Not several weeks or several months, just several minutes. One guy, his name called Yan Xin. Now it's very famous. This book is Yan Xin. This book is his speech. He gives some speech in the public. Pub, pub, pub. During his speech, some people began to move. Some people began to cry. But after the move and cry, he said, "Don't worry about this. I'm." treat uh, your problem, if you have some problem in this chronic. After his lecture, these people recover. Just during the lecture, he can, he can resolve your problem. Even your relatives, one driver, in China, not a lot of people have cars, just uh, some officials, they, they have cars. Uh, and uh, one driver, he, he drives the car, his wife has the 
blood cancer. We call blood cancer. I don't know. Okay. Now for for the purpose of time, you only have 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah. We let Dr. Wong talk about some of the development in Taiwan. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After this, if you are interested, we can talk. <laughs> okay, I'll take very short. Since, uh, Dr. Wu and uh, Professor Yen already mentioned some of the theory and some of the history, so I uh, cut out the uh, story on those stuff. I came from Taiwan to the States about for uh, almost uh, 17 to 18 years. So I've been here for almost 17 to 18 years. <laughs> been back to Taiwan a few, few times, so if I want to talk about the development of Qigong in Taiwan, I'm not that qualified right now. A lot of people are long, no, better than, uh, no better than me. I've been practicing uh, the internal analysis pr uh, for more than 30 years. Primary reason is for the martial arts. So I'm just talking about my personal experience, what I need, know what I see, and I also uh, happen to be a scientist, so I only believe in the facts, which I can see, I can touch it. <coughs> well, uh, back in uh, when I was young, uh, people told me chi, this is a little bit different, okay. it's kind of air. So you uh, breathe in, uh, press to numb in breathing, in early in the morning, try to get the chi in the body, and circulate throughout the, uh, <coughs> the, the whole body. I believe in that. But later on, one of the physicians told me, you have air in the blood circulation system. What happened? Your blood doesn't co uh, coagulate, you don't die. <coughs> so I know chi, then from there, then I start questioning, well, what the real chi is? Tell the truth, I'm still believing that. So I let uh, artists uh, rule out the chi, na the nature of chi as uh, air. Because you cannot have air, the real air bubbles in the circulation, but you do can have oxygens combined with the uh, the blood cells and moving around the body can do that. Well, anyway, through that once I through my own practice, and I know I can move the chi, whatever the nature of the chi or whatever intrinsic energy throughout my body easily. Whenever one go, go anywhere, you can say in a matter of a many seconds, instead of uh, something has transported uh, transport from the foot to the head or whatever, you need some time to move around. If something is really physically to move around or particle-wise, then you have to go to a certain distance. You go through the whole body, it takes time. But I know it is not almost instant. So personally, I feel it could be kind of electrical field, or as Dr. Wu said, electromagnetic field type. But has not been really identified or demonstrated yet. But I believe that one of these days can be uh, proved or really calculated that for uh, other purposes. Uh, the function wise, I can only tell you my personal experience and what I see. I do believe, as a scientist, usually need some uh, very solid proof to believe certain phenomena. But right now, based on no scientific sound proof, I still believe in just because some other uh, experience I experienced through and I try, still try to look for the answer for that. For example, uh, when you, if you practice Qi Gong or whatever internal energy, those ability, you don't get cold easy and you don't feel cold in the winter. That's one of the differences. I don't I can answer you the questions but I believe maybe just the blood circulation. The second, you got injured, you really practice internal energy. If the person for example twisting the angle, how long take you to recover? Weeks, month? If you really practice a uh, real good martial artist, or the person really practice Kung Fu or whatever, internal energy, a couple of days. It's unavoidable to get twisted sometimes. A few days, they'll recover that quickly. And wound still, uh, sometimes you have cut. Right now, the, uh, the recent medical uh, science has uh, been probably a lot better now. They can uh, heal the wound in a few days now. A lot better. There's new drug from Johnson & Johnson. They can do that. But in the past, they would not be able to. But who, those who practiced in the past, including myself, when I got cut, a few days, a couple of days, that's what I got. So I never really suffered from the sickness. So my the motivation for me, the intention for me to practice is not because of health, forever. I've been health through all my life so far. Doctor did not get my uh, bill except this eyeglasses. <laughs> Let's just give you some idea and about the practicing wise, I think uh, Professor Ian will talk about those, we'll let uh, them 
answer those questions for you. Is there any questions so far? He is the chief or he like, what thought process or what would you do exactly to move that flow of chief to that area? Have you seen the uh, cocoon? The second part? And I see, I see that one part is the best way to describe what I feel, what I know. Remember uh, his wife died and the guy uh, wanted to revive him? And that description of the uh, kind of a visual description so is how I feel. And that's when I'm helping people, like a headache or a swollen or twisted joint or whatever, that's how I feel. And how they got really recover, tell the truth. I don't know. It works, I don't know <laughs> why. And it takes me usually about 30 minutes. Sometimes it's a uh, very uh, fresh injury, maybe a few minutes or two, uh, but even long injury, hours. Sometimes uh, even severe one, uh, quite a number of hours. I will get exhausted too. So I believe there's something in there, but I just need a full proof on that. And maybe uh, Professor Ann and Dr. Wei will help on this area, help curve for what it is. I, yeah. I believe it's a kind of electromagnetic field phenomenon or some kind of a new force field which may be not really characterized by the science yet and we will intend to pursue that area in the future. I, before I turn over to Dr. Wu, I applied this to help the uh, uh, rheumatoid arthritis patients. We had a very good success. Uh, that's what experiment was conducted in uh, Illinois, in Rockford. And we had about uh, 25 uh, uh, blood patients with control. They, we show them about Tai Chi movements. Certainly include the uh, breathing, try to initiate some of the uh, internal energy circulation. Not really yet to do that, that effectively. But we will be able to improve their uh, clinical symptom within 10 weeks of practice. Now, for example, the pain has been reduced about 45%. That was monitor, monitored by the uh, physicians. Um, the number of swollen joints has been reduced about 50% too, and a lot of other uh, living functions. They just give you some idea about what the chi or whatever can be applied in the, to promote human health and or to help alleviate, uh, alleviate the uh, sickness. Okay, thank you. His qigong can turn water into wine. His qigong can help him walk over the water like Jesus Christ walked over the water that Peter spoke. Now how in the world he do that? He can hold up the rain for two hours. That's why I said I don't, you won't believe it. But as mentioned in this book, when he lectured, the all record in the book, when he gave a lecture, <laughs> but what the theory is, his chi can arrange the body or an object, the molecule, can arrange the molecule in a certain kind of orientation. Okay, thank you. For example, if his chi gong can make his body, his molecule, his chin particle, into a certain kind of orientation, we have the electromagnetic field go against the gravity pull. Instead of going down, we can go up. That's the principle mentioned in this book, that you can walk above the water. Just like you make a magnet from a, a, a bar of steel or, 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 or iron power, you have to use some key to or orient the molecule, arranging it. Minus plus by the plus until this plus and at the end become a magnet. Now the qigong can make your body or other people's health or sickness can you rearrange your certain kind of arrangement in your inside. Hey, I do not know. Then we can get well. Have you or make the water rearrange the molecule in such a way it become one. Have you ever seen this yourself, sir? Right in the people, I didn't see it. No, I just no, mentioned that before. Has, has anyone you know seen? No, I do not know. Because it seems to defy all the natural laws. Right? I know that. I know that. I did not say I claim I can do that. I, I just say I read from the book.
to tell people that's how they explain. But right now we are not trying to find out how how I am able to do it now. Yeah, at the beginning, no people believe this kind of new in China. A lot of all of the sentence they don't believe. That breaks the law, natural law. I said, yeah. I said, do not take Mr. Yan, Mr. Yan Xin to America. You get a lot of antagonism because they, you take over Jesus Christ's job. <laughs> <laughs> but I cannot do it. I never seen it like this gentleman asked me. I just told you what this book said. Yeah, then and what, how, they, how they explain it. You see, but do not try to persuade to believe. You believe it. You don't have to believe it. It's, it's, I just told you. Yes. Uh, recently, I see in Channel 34 about adventure, uh, telling the story about two guys in uh, Luzon and uh, those islands, Virginia, these places. They traveled for 10 years, and one part it made me two. And that they say, uh, so-called sage or a medicine man, they put a hand on a piece of paper, and the paper got fire. Now this uh, physically, 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 is impossible. But it caught fire in the uh, television, and that guy didn't believe it. So let me try your hand. He put his hand under the hand of that uh, medicine man, and immediately he cried out and got blistered out of his hand. Why? I don't know. A lot of things we cannot explain scientifically. Huh? It was impossible to do. Yeah. Well, you can have uh, all kind of explanation you want to, but I just say this we call esoteric science. Esoteric science means it cannot be proved scientifically yet. For example, acupuncture. For a thousand years, we did not know why it worked. It did cure headache until 15, 20 years ago. The German scientists find out if we stimulate our skin long enough with needle or some other mean, or even beat up, your brain cell produce endomorphin, or called endorphin, which is anesthesia. That's why you get with the headache. But for a thousand years, nobody knows, but it worked, that's the important thing. Until 15, 20 years ago, it proved scientific. <laughs> so this thing may be, like the gentleman questioned that, completely look like a just impossible BS. <laughs> yeah. I, I agree with you. See, I, I myself say, I don't believe it. He gave me this book, I said, I don't believe it. I warn him, don't take Mr. Yen come over to the American. He get trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe, who knows? See, who knows? Like the acupuncture, a thousand years, people never even want to find out. They said, work on it. Now, we only have a little bit left. We we'll go, go into the uh, technique now. What's your question now? Now that's nothing to do with the chi here, okay? It's a finger puncture. So let's some other stamina we talk about. I was curious about when you hit, uh, when you're using the chi for combat, if you hit somebody, there's a way of making it squeeze down into the marrow of the bone. Is that more of a visualization technique or a meditative technique? What actually happens? You mean how to do it? Yes. Or the principle behind. But so far as I can see, your concentration involved, your chi with the particles, well, maybe infrared, well, maybe some other thing penetrating into that part of the other person in well, but depend on how relaxed you are, or how concentrated you are, how I've much seen, training you I've do. I've seen a number of examples of it. I saw a master once hit a, a bag with a student holding it. The student was about six feet tall. The bag didn't move, the student did. You know, the back of the bag, I'm talking about a, about a hundred pound bag, Back of the bag shot. Yeah, it, it happened. I read a lot. I've I have seen, seen my seen my grandmaster can do that. But I'm always curious as how <laughs> you do it. You know, I know it can be done. Well, this kind of thing, even we know how to do it, we might not explain it here because a lot of people don't want to believe. Well, <clears throat> that can be explained by the physical phenomenon. I'm sorry, I can't. That can be explained by the physical phenomenon. Since the bag is uh, some certain weight and there's a momentum in there, a, mom a moment of inertia, if you hit in a very short time, 
person holding on this side, okay, and you hit it over here, can transfer the vibration, can transfer the person loose up. For example, you have equal weight of a steel ball. One ball hit over here, right? One ball stays, the other will move out. You understand up? The vibration, right? But the, reason, the reason why they want to get into the marrow, uh, marrow bone is kind of a spiritual type. The major reason is that in the martial, in the ancient martial arts, they don't want to show the muscle. Now, like in Western culture, let's say you got a big uh, muscle, you want to be like this one. But in China, it's reverse. You want to look as close as to the ordinary people. That's why when they uh, when they practice, usually a big muscle comes up initially, but uh, through the practicing, the bodies contract back into the bone and then shrink back. That's what the major reason for it. Okay. After that, yeah, the hand or whatever become very heavy. Some scientists believe that Qigong is a big challenge to the modern science. They need research on it to find something very new. If for the health part, I forgot to tell you, also have to build up the immunity. The system built up the Qigong is very important that part. As the martial art part is uh, very mysterious. See, I've seen a lot in my life in China. See, without touching, can go through the war and put people the other side of it. See, and, uh, but the concentration involved, very important concentration, and how much qi and which meridian, which outside meridian, this chi travel have, to, have something to do with it. See, we call it the zhong the, 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 the qi. Now, that's the only the chi developed in the chest. And when you tense your chi, tense chest, you have certain kind of chi come up. But that kind of chi is another type of chi can be another function in muscle body. So these are many, many speculations. See, nobody scientifically proved that. The concentration and how much qi you develop and how is your quality of qi involved and what kind of material more proportion and that that material can be very dangerous can be the killing effect then that qi can be very severe then different school have a different method to develop certain areas certain specialization yeah okay all right now, this acupuncture, what very important we call the real qi. If you know acupuncture, you puncture in the, some people who are very sick, ready to die. They need to pull out easily. But a live, very healthy person, you puncture, very difficult to push, as if a suction suck it back to the inside the muscle. That's the qi. But a person that paralyzed, the whole legs cannot walk out like for many, many years. You puncture that foot, you see the foot in and out. That means the chi is gone. Now that's a very, very easy to prove the chi that body exists. And also using a lot of electrical potential to find out the light come out, which point the light come out, which point the sound come out, and all the proof. Now this at the time up now, so uh, I have to do a chance translation of the demonstration of the new sum. So I just want to announce what we have two things going on at one time. So if you all have split personalities, you'll be in good shape. Good. We have the cooking demonstration.